want to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you that is listening to me today. This channel here is not just to entertain or to make you feel like you have lost another day. No, I am here stationed to give you courage, to give you hope, to empower, to be relatable as much as I can. And if you're a new subscriber to this channel, I am Sally and feel at home, feel welcomed, feel positive, feel loved. I give each and every one of you in this audience, which is past my camera right now, a flower. You are a beautiful person in the mind, in the soul, and even your actions. Somebody out there may not see who you are, but God above see who you are. You know who you are. You know your actions. You know how you behave. You know what makes you to be a light in somebody's darkness. And I am here today. I pray that the words I get to speak to you will have an impact to your life. And as we come into a new week, I pray that you are going to get into this new week with so much power and feeling encouraged. Okay, every one of us have dressed up into something. I am dressed up into this magnificent, immaculate dress. It makes me feel eloquent. It makes me feel beautiful. And that's how life is. Before we get into something each and every day, we prepare our mind on how we're going to get into the next day. When you dress up, you have a moment of thinking, what am I going to wear tomorrow? What am I going to do tomorrow? I mean, in most cases, all of us have had an opportunity to plan what we are going to wear tomorrow, whether it's a pair of shoe, whether it's a piece of jewelry, whether it's a belt, we plan on how we are going to wear or dress up the next day. Either we are going to mix and match or we just be casual, no mix and match or you just don't care how you are going to dress up. There is a time that comes in our lives that prepares us for the next moment. Our future is like that as well. When we come into the next week that we do not know already how it's going to be, today is the day that we prepare ourselves. We reset our mind, we reset our attitude, we reset our behaviors, we reset our actions. How are you going to act as you come into the week that comes in tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday, right? Today is a Sunday. So, you enter in such a beautiful space that you need to be there by yourself. Get a piece of paper, write it down. How do I need to behave next week? What are my accomplishments that I need to accomplish next week? First of all, people always leave out their character, their behavior. It's very important because you can't say that I'm going to spend $20 the whole of next week, but $20 you're going to spend, but how is your character that is making you to spend those $20? Are you just spending the $20 just because you don't want to cook or just because you don't feel like you want to get out, wash your own car, and you just want to go to a car wash and spend that $20? I mean, we all depend on each other. The car wash depends on your car to be taken there to be washed. But there are days that you have to think well. There are days that you have to think positive. And at this age of time, it's a time that we have to really, really think about our spending, our characters, our behaviors, our actions. And today, as I speak to you, I'm speaking to you not because I have A plus in mannerism, not because I have A plus in good behaviors, not because I have A plus in anything at all. No, I am just a human being like you. 
the difference that differentiate me and somebody else out there is because I don't want to go back to A. I have moved from A. I don't want to be sitting on A. I am now in B, looking forward to C. So my C tomorrow, I am planning it right now that I am in B. If I was rude at A, I don't want to be rude at B. Because when I go to C, I want to be a smart person in the mouth. I want to be that person that think before I speak. I want to be that person that listens carefully. If I was trashy in A, I don't want to be trashy in B. When I go to C, I want to be a clean person. I want to be a responsible person. I want to be that person that feel this place that I live, it's clean. Look at my background. Not that I want you to copy it, it's a beautiful background. When I leave every day to go to work or I go outside, I want to make sure that the space I come back to in the evening, it's a beautiful, serene place. And that's the plan you plan today. Before you start every week, gather yourself and plan your week properly. Sit down. They call things that you did last week that one, did not make you happy, or two, you need to change, or three, you need to address, or four, you need to stop. So if last week you were not productive enough, what is your plan to do next week? That's when you start planning. I'm going to be productive next week because I want to accomplish A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four things. You have to learn to start building yourself. And I totally get it. Not everybody is self-driven into doing things. Some people have to be led. Some people have to listen to somebody like me to inspire them. Some people have to just don't want to listen anything and what do we call that arrogance if you are arrogant last week at least come down this week at least practice to be a nice person at least practice to be patient at least practice to be a vessel a vessel in good legal ways not a vessel that just break and cause havoc all the time if you cause a misunderstanding last week don't be too prideful to say that i'm not going to go bow down to the person that i made mad or i i felt like i caused bad things or misunderstanding with last week you have an opportunity. An opportunity, it may not be today, but when you go back and see that person, call them on the side. You just don't know how much baggage it will release. But if you keep going on with the baggage of last week, you're going to feel heavy the moment you see this person that either you cause a misunderstanding with or even in the least you don't want to see them if you don't want to see them move away from the space but before you move from that space make peace because if you don't make peace with the people around you don't expect to find it anywhere you may run away from the place that you are supposed to make peace with and the place that you're going it will be like oh my god the place I was before, it was the best. Make peace as much as you can and faster as you can because that will give you peace in your heart. It will make you feel lighter with burdens, with, yes, with just burdens. And as you enter into a new week, enter with hope, enter with confidence, enter with courage, Enter knowing that you are the one 
that has to make the difference. And the difference that you must make next week, let it be a positive difference. Spread hope, spread love, and peace of Christ. Have a beautiful week, my lovely ones.